What is going on, and welcome back to Hair to Hero with Hair to Berlin on Football Manager 2020. With me, your host, Foggy Plays. As you will have seen in the last episode, we have gone through our transfer roundup to this point, um, and we're taking on Augsburg in the opening game of the season. Um, interesting, I think it's Hoffenheim we end the season with. It is indeed. So, Hoffenheim will be our final league game of the season, which doesn't seem that far away already and we're on the first day of the season as i said we are the day before the actual start of the, season, the before everyone else plays we're playing so we're going to the oxford game with this as our starting 11 we have bingham starting a goal as our new goalkeeper making his league debut today tomiyasu playing at right back michael's going to play at left back because he has been in good form but is he going to start there no, it's not because Luca Ness is going to take his place. Uh, gotcha. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, Gentil and Gavidal are going to start today because uh, Giorgio has a bit of a knock and I don't want to risk him. Um, supposedly and Arne and Meyer are going to start in central midfield because it's my central midfield. Uh, Mina and Velasco, who is now picked up inside forward on attack. He is full green circle. Means nothing, but still, it's nice to know. Um, Esposito and Kyo George starting up front. On the bench then we have Decore, Michael, Tornariga and Smirnov. Uh, Bayes, as I said, is going to be is learning to be a central midfielder. He's going to be on the bench with Gilmore, Brown, who has a fairly high chance coming off the bench for Velasco. We, we have Nyoto and Boadu sitting on the bench as well. Uh, just because of some of the injury concerns, we don't have Alec, Sergio or Yokoyama for this game today. So we're going into this on the back of a good result in the Pokal, um, there were some interesting results as well in the Pokal, to be fair. There was a top division side got knocked out. don't remember who, but I remember seeing a couple of top teams get knocked out and I was thinking, you know, it's a bit, a bit mad. So, we're, uh, we're hoping. We have fourth in the next round. Fourth. I don't know exactly how you pronounce it, but I'm pretty sure it's like fourth. Fourth. Uh, we are going to just give the lads a bit of assertive faith. I'm going to give the strikers a bit of passionate faith. Uh, we don't need the league table because it is literally day one. Game one. Uh, Reese Oxford, interestingly, still playing for Augsburg um, with Kevin Danzo alongside him. Speak of the devil. So, first highlight is Augsburg getting across, but we sort of get rid of it. Not enough to be comfortable but it's supposedly wins the tackle and then loses the ball then wins the ball back and then loses it again so that was a uh, an interesting passage there they've uh augsburg are really controlling position at the moment don't seem to be doing an awful lot and we can't really say it's because the players are learning how to play this style of football because we've played it for the last two years and the majority of this team are here the last two years so hmm. and because this result if we stays like this we would be bottom of the league but Luka Nets with a big throw Esposito supposedly never really looked like it was gonna go in but still corner and Gentil it gets cleared off the line Garavidal picks it up whips in across it's not a great cross to be fair Gentile picks it up, back to Tomiyasu, Arne Meyer, Zabazali, cuts inside, gets cleared again, thought it's going to go to Velasco, Gentile, all the way out to Luka Nets, highlight ends. They need to change that so you're above the goal, looking down, and Garvidal heads just wide. We've been a little wasteful so far, um, Esposito and Kai George. Mm. Augsburg went very close to going two up there. Kai George, to be fair, he has been he did miss a lot of the summer with injury. Uh recovering from that previous injury he had. So I don't expect him to walk straight into the team and be fine, but I do think we're I'm going to say I'm far from pleased. Um, I'm just going to give it a bit of 
passionate, I have faith, or I, you can make a difference. Is there any changes we could make? I mean, if we go a little shorter in our passing. Hmm. What if I put you on that side and you over here? Esposito did take number seven off of uh, Piatek because Piatek isn't at the club anymore. Uh, well, for this season anyway. And Bayes took 11. Bayes? I'm going to call him Bayes. Luca Nets with the big throw. Arnie Meyer picks up the clearance. Luca Nets gets across to Subazali. Nets has to be a pen. Esposito is going to step up to take the penalty. I would imagine. It is Esposito. Puts it away. Okay. So we're back on level term. We're going to demand more. Two minutes into the second half. Get ourselves a cheeky little penalty and an equaliser. Now. Okay, I'm going to actually press that keeper a little bit. And same with Danzo and Reese Oxford. Might as well do Tessar uh, as well. Gruzo Asta. Almost the Kazakh club Astra. Uh, speaking of Kazakh, the Kazakh goalkeeper, I'm probably going to give him opportunities this year in maybe the Pokal. I wanted to see what Bingham was like on the pitch in the first Pokal game. I didn't want to give him his debut in the league, so. So Pazali, get in from outside the area. According to FM, his long shots, well, what are they now? I got to 12 now. According to his attributes, he shouldn't be able to, like, really do this. You know, scoring from a sizable distance, but he's quite good at it. It has to be said. Carlos Mina's cross doesn't get there and somehow doesn't get the ball off the Augsburg defender. They play it out from the back and they've actually managed to get it through but it gets dispossessed by was that Gentile. Uh, Velasco having a very poor game so I'm going to pop him off now for Brown. Uh, Mina's not having a great game either. Hmm... We're going to leave it as it is for right now. Okay, I am recording. Fantastic. Um, I don't want to... I don't like resting on a 1-0 win. Or a 1-0 lead. Or a goal, single goal lead. Esposito. Not a bother. Just pops it in the back of the net. Happy days. Both the strikers want to be the same kind of player they both want to play at as a, an advanced forward or possibly a complete forward I don't really want to play the two of them as complete forward but I'm going to do it for I'm going to bring on Bodu give Bodu a run around for a while and uh, is there anyone I want to take off the, is, there, well, okay, is there anyone on the bench I want to bring on I want to bring on Baze bring Baze on for Arne Meyer Just give Arne Meyer a bit of a rest He's uh, been quite an important player for the last five, well, coming up in his fifth season with us now. Uh, it's going to drop a cheeky bit of praise. Arnhem anyway, club captain, and he will be until he retires or decides he wants to leave. And that's a guaranteed for him. So he's always going to be my captain. Always and forever. Gentile. I've been... Quite impressed with Gentile in the Pokal Cup game. He came on as a substitute. And this game so far, he's been quite good. So he got ahead of Tornariga for this one. Just because I said, why not? What would do on his debut? Well, his league debut. There might actually be interest for him now. Because my Ron Bowadu is probably... Fifth choice striker. Would he be, or would he be fourth choice? He's fourth or fifth choice striker. And fourth choice left winger. So for a player valued at 80 or 56 million. 
He's not a first teamer in any real position. Uh, you've done brilliant to come back. I am proud of you. Good job, lads. Esposito. When he scores, he scores braces or hat tricks. Uh, Velasco wasn't great. Other than that, I'm not overly disappointed with anybody. Brown had a less than impressive game when he came on as a substitute, but it's fine. Did a whole lot of time to get involved anyway. But we won't worry about that. So we've gone and beaten Augsburg. Esposito. Brilliant game from you, buddy. I am the reason we did that. And Carlos should say they don't want to sign Rios Nova. I don't want you to sign Rios Nova. Uh, we do have 341 and a half million in the bank currently. We've made a loss so far this month of 16, almost 16 million. Just because of signings. I'm guessing. Uh, we do have 245 million left in the transfer budget. And we have about a million left in wage budget to spend. So we are without a doubt in a fantastic situation what we're going to do is we will be back in the next episode to have a look at the draw for the champions league best place playoff okay so they're currently doing the best place best placed playoffs um so it'll be a couple of days before that pops up so we'll come back for probably the first game in the Champions League or the first away game depending on who we get as our first game so if you have enjoyed please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe share with all of your friends and I will see you in the next one